from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top stories. The third wave of the coronavirus continues. There's a response coming. Prime Minister Minnis has scheduled a national address for Wednesday night to announce new measures to slow the spread. Doesn't sound like a lockdown is coming. The office of the Prime Minister releasing a statement saying he's focused on implementing policies that protect Bahamians while allowing commerce to continue in a safe and responsible manner. He's also expected to announce new measures to assist persons in hospital with the virus and give an update on the country's efforts to secure more vaccine. 100 cases reported for Saturday, 62 new cases confirmed for Sunday, most of them in the capital. But several other islands are showing increased cases also, including six in Eleuthera. The hospitalization number has now reached 100. A number of those persons in the ICU, three more deaths are under investigation. There could be a vaccine standoff developing between health officials and frontline workers. That after Chief Medical Officer Dr. McMillan stated that mandatory vaccination for health care workers is under consideration. A big number have not taken the vaccine so far and they're calling for health officials not to force them to take it. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. PLP leader Davis is watching this from the sidelines, says the minister administration doesn't have a plan to protect the country amid new strains of the coronavirus. They have a big space problem at the morgue of the Princess Margaret Hospital. Health Minister Wells says the pandemic has something to do with this. The Rand Laboratory, commonly referred to as the morgue, can house some 73 deceased persons. However, today it holds some 225 deceased persons. PMH has no more space. Therefore, we strongly urge the general public to collect their loved ones at the mall. The latest murder under investigation by police, the fatal shooting of a man here in the capital over the weekend, identified by relatives as 23-year-old Sammy Pierre. It happened in the Carmichael area. Police are not sure why yet. NBA star DeAndre Ayton is home following his big season with the Phoenix Suns, got to the finals. He got a big junk and a welcome at the airport. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, low-pressure system to the north, sending some related weather into the area. Partly sunny, chance of showers, highs in the upper 80s, 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea's 2 to 4 feet. Next side is a high around 11 this morning. Next low about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. Some showers around. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We're approaching the peak of the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to recheck your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Monday's World News headlines a mixed bag for the world as new variants of the coronavirus continues to spread. Several countries, including Britain, France, and Australia, now considering putting some restrictions back in place. Cases continue to go up in the U.S. also, not clear what they will do to slow the spread there. More than 140 persons are dead from flash flooding in a province in India as wildfires continue to burn out of control in the western U.S. More than 2,000 persons are displaced there. Tension increasing in Tunisia after the president fires the prime minister and freezes parliament following protests over the coronavirus and the country's economic situation. 
Tribune's gas track of prices to start the week. Shell 513, SO 517, Rubis $5.18 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Team Bahamas in competition at the Tokyo Olympics. Find out how our swimmers did in the Tribune Sports. Get coverage of the rest of the games also. The Tribune Sports has a report on Kai Jones, the basketball player, ahead of the NBA draft. More on local baseball players who are now pros. An update on Chavez Monroe in the Tribune Sports. And get the latest on Major League Baseball from the weekend. Jazz on the injured list, but the Marlins get a win over San Diego. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 